Recording in progress. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today, we will be discussing how to input a primary data, um, specifically a questionnaire responses, into uh, SPSS software. Um, SPSS was um, developed by SPSS Inc. 53 years ago, and then it was acquired by IBM in 2009. And it is one of the most popular and statistical software. It is an acronym for statistical package for social science. So this is the SPSS interface. So when you open your SPSS, this is, a, this is the interface that you will see. And it's like a spreadsheet whereby you can insert your data and do a whole lot of things with your data. So we have the, under the SPSS, we have the file whereby you can open and import your data or open a new uh, work file. We also have the edit, we also have the view, you can view your data, transform your data, analyze your data using different estimation parameters and where you can uh, do a lot of um, graphical illustrations with your data, utilities and extensions whereby you can also install different packages into your SPSS um, software. So today we will be looking at how to insert uh, primary data, specifically your questionnaire responses into your SPSS software. So when you open your spreadsheet, you have, um, you come to this data view and the variable view. There are two kinds of view that you see in S uh, SPSS software. You have the data view and the variable view. Um, you will be inserting all your questionnaires information into your data view and your variable view. So each of the questions in your questionnaires or each of the items represent the variable view, while the responses represent the data view. So today we'll be having an hypothetical examples on three illustration using how to insert your gender, how to insert uh, age into your SPSS. And the last one, how you can uh, also insert a, one of the questions in your questionnaire into the um, questionnaire. So we will start with um, gender. So you come to under the variable view, under the name, you type, uh, gender the under the type usually we have so many you click on this um, icon so many we have a um, different variable type numeric we have the comma we have the dot scientific notation we have date we have um, dollar we have custom currency we have string so i will be choosing strings for our data for variable type and i will click okay so under the weight i will prefer prefer using the um, 10 the decimal, no decimal, and label, then you can type the gender of the respondent. The hundred the values, this is where you, you give a value to the different kinds of gender. For example, we have male and female, which, which can be uh, represented as one and two. But at this age, we there's once you are preparing a, when you are preparing your questionnaire, it's advisable to include a third um, a third uh, company which is prefer not to say. Yeah. So we, I will be working with the um, the, the, the new ways of um, representing a gender on your questionnaire. The value, the first two can be one, and the label put mail. You had the second one two, female. You had. The third one, three, you can write uh, prefer not to say, and you had. And after inserting the three uh, um, components, you click on OK. So missing none, the columns as well, you can increase it to 10 as well. And then the nominal. So gender, the nominal under the data measurement, we have the nominal, we have the ordinal, you have the intervals and the ratio. So, under the general uh, represents false under the nominal uh, measurement. So we'll leave it at main, uh, nominal. And then when you come to variable view, you see gender has appeared in the variable view. So each of this column represents, um, each of these uh, column represents the respondent. So you go back to the variable view as well. The second one on your questionnaire if it's H. So H is numerical, you, you leave it like that. And then you can increase this to 10 as well. Decimal H, there's no decimal point in H. So label you type the age of the 
request content and then the values. So based on the components on your questionnaires or how we use this hypothetical example, one represents under uh, 25 years, like I had, uh, two represent 26 to um, 35 years, I click on hard, and three represent uh, 36 to 45 years, I had, then that four represent over 46 years. I click on hard and I click on okay. So uh, all the components in the age bracket has been represented in the values, then missing none, and you can increase this to 10 as well. Then the measurement can put ordinal. ordinal. So now the third one, third one is um we can include um one of the questions in your questionnaire. This is an hypothetical example. The name can be question one. This is how you can input your data into uh, your SPS, your primary data, which is um, gotten from the questionnaire. So strings as well, strings as well. So the width, you can make it at 10 as well. Then the question on your questionnaire, the questions that the respondent are um, answering, then probably does, a particular example, does brand name, influences customer purchase. So under the values, so depending on the, uh, the liquor scale you are using, if you are using the five liquor scales or seven liquor scales, so I will be using the five liquor scale, which is the strongly agree, disagree, um, indifference, strongly disagree, and then disagree. That's what I'll be using for this purpose of this tutorial. So, firstly, I will be, label one should be strongly disagree. Click on hard. Label two should be disagree. I had number three should be indifference. I had number four should be agree. Had number five should be strongly agree. I had so these are the five liquor schemes. Then you click on OK. So come to column ten. Let me ask you, Hardinam. So after entry, so this is where you enter all your questions in the questionnaires. All your questions in the questionnaires, depending on the component, you come to the values, you insert it, you represent it with um, a numerical value, numerical value, and then it appears on your data views. It appears on your data views. So this is how to enter your primary data into your SPSS. SPSS, specifically if you're working with um, questionnaires. I hope you understand my tutorials. If you need uh, more clarifications and more questions, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channels and like and make a comment.